All right, talking with head coach J.R. Teague's coach uh, last night, a, a 10-9 ball game today, 4-2. Maybe flip-flop from what you might expect on a Friday-Saturday kind of thing in conference, but uh, first two ball games have been some tight games between you and Nickel State. Yeah, they have a good club over there. They do a great job. You know, we, right now we're just not playing fast enough to be solid offensive, and we got to learn how to play faster. You know, we got a lot of new guys, and the speed of the game is a little bit ahead of them right now. You know, some JUCO guys just need to learn how to play at this level as far as speed-wise. That's kind of tough when you get uh, double-digit hits each of the first two ball games, and uh, you're looking at 0-2, trying to go into Sunday and take one to at least get one in the series. Well, that's not necessarily how many hits you get. It's, it, it, it's putting pressure on teams, mm -hmm. and that's something we're not doing right now, and it's simply because we're not playing fast enough. You know, we're very timid. You, you can tell by the play running around the bags, getting thrown out third base. It's just very tentative going around the bags. We just got to learn to play with our foot on the pedal. The Jordan email battle today, 10 strikeouts for Jordan in seven innings uh, on the mound. Jason Greenleaf, two shutout innings for you pitching strong again yeah we did we did well you know I didn't think we pitched as well as we could have it was a good effort but not good enough to win uh, we had a couple walks and both those walks scored and, and that was big you know those two runs we got beat by two runs but it was a good effort but we got to do a better job all around you know, I think team wise pitching defense and, and offense we just got to do a better job well you go back down to Nickel State tomorrow one o'clock and you've got a senior on the mound not many uh, teams have that luxury of having a senior be able to go in the third game of a series yeah josh a good starter for us i mean he's, he's been great for us all season long so it's important he comes out and gives a great start tomorrow all right coach best of luck tomorrow against the colonels thanks a bunch